Hey guys, and that mechanic here, and today we're going to be installing a video card from our good friend Steve into my beast of a computer here. So, let's get started. First of all, let me get these thumb screws out. Oh, and I should clarify something. The reason I have to record this is because I don't qualify yet for mobile streaming to YouTube. So that's why I have to use my camera and record <laughs> from the phone instead of just being a live stream. So, you know, I'll upload this later. But for now, this is the best I can do. Turned everything off. Sure, that's off. Push the power switch in, drain all the capacitors. And let's go ahead and get this old video card out. Set these aside. Not even sure where to put them yet. <laughs> My wire management's gonna be kind of a mess in here. Because on this new card, I don't need PCIe power. It just somehow gets the power from the uh, motherboard itself so I guess this is a fairly efficient card take these two screws out and pop this up oh and before we do that there's this little lock down in there see how, see how blue lock pull it back It's already set. Okay, cool. Pretty convenient. Okay. Knock this out. It's kind of kind of tough to do with one hand. Don't want to break anything because I'm going to end up using this video card in, a, in another computer project. All right. Get it out. That's it. Yeah. <sighs> Look at that. It's cleaned up, cleaned off all the dust on it, cleaned the fans up. Looks good. Look at that. Nearly double the length. Now, the exact same components are in both cards, but they spread it out a little bit so that way the heat has a chance to dissipate. I know why they did that. It's just, you know, it's a lot easier on the card than having a concentrated heat around all these components. Now, just spread them out. There's a lot less heat distribution. So, or I guess you could say a lot more cooling distribution. This thing is a beast. I mean, look, look at this heat sink right here. It spans all the way across. It's basically a computer in itself. So, we take this beast of a card. Slide it right in. Into our PCIe 16 slot. I think it's just a PCIe. Let me see. Yeah, 16. There's a another PCIe 16 slot down here. I could use it, but. I got a little bit of a clearance issue, so this will do just fine. Yeah, it's closer to the uh, processor, which is what you want. And you put the same screws back in. And I took the liberty of already uh, installing the drivers for this card. So once I get it in there and go into my downloads, I'll install the drivers just fine. I'm just trying to put it in there by finger. Come on. There we go. Okay. Thread it in there so far. 
takes up two slots. What you do is hold the card back. It's going to take two hands. Hold the card back so that way against stops. And then since there's 215 screws in this computer, that's one. I already cleaned the computer up quite a bit. Took the fans out and all that. And you're getting a little bit dusty, but not that bad. And there it is. Ready to rock and roll. I can put power to it just so you guys can see the fans, but. Tell you what, let's go ahead and do that right now. Got this power cable. Okay. Unplug my hard drives here. It's going to do is boot from CD, what you can't do, so. Plug it. Okay. Put the power in. The reason I'm doing that is just so it doesn't, you know, have to go through the boot cycle and stuff. As much as it's going to do is go into BIOS. So. We have power, green lights. Everything's good. I don't have to have PCIe power supply to this card. Here we go. Fan spinning up nice and there is a fan profile I'm gonna have to adjust but other than that yeah she's a beast so with that I'm gonna wrap up don't forget to like subscribe click that little notification bell share the videos far and wide and what else did it YouTube needs me to jump through. Oh yeah, there's little hoops. I will see you guys real soon. Good night, everybody.